guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. So today we're going to talk about two new foundations. The first one is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation and the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. So I've done a wear test on both of the foundations and today I'm going to tell you my thoughts and opinions about both of the foundations. But also if you stick around till the end of the video, I'm going to let you know which is my favorite between the two. So let's get started. So um, the past two weeks, I've been testing the two foundations, the L'Oreal and Makeup Revolution, and I've tried them with primer, without primer, um, and a combination of primers. So I've tried them different ways and the best way I know how. And I've tried them with the products that I know will work really well for my skin tone and my skin type, which is, you know, oily to combination skin so the l'oreal foundation i believe came out um early february of this year and it um, cost 14.99 at ulta and the makeup revolution is 12 dollars at ulta so the makeup revolution is a little bit cheaper so let's get started first on the l'oreal side the claims for this foundation is a 24 hour wear foundation. I've never really tested a foundation for a whole 24 hours, but I haven't had really with my oily skin type, I've never had a foundation last on me longer than six hours. It's also waterproof, transfer resistant, it's also sweat proof, um, it's non comedogenic, which is what I love to look for. Um, in any kind of skincare or um, makeup that I use. Non-comedogenic foundations are supposed to be good for the skin. It's not gonna make you break out or have more acne. Um, and so it's really gonna be good for acne prone skin types like myself or people with oily skin. It has 30 shades and it claims to be medium to full coverage with a natural matte finish. So the reason why I chose both of these foundations is that I love to use matte foundations um, because they work well on my skin and they last longer on my oily skin too. The Makeup Revolution one, it's um, like I mentioned, it's $12. It's vegan, cruelty free, paraben free, and it's oil free. Um, it has a lesser range of shades. So it has 24 shades with a demi matte finish and it claims to be a full coverage foundation. So I swatched the two right here. Um, this is the L'Oreal and this is the more pinky one is the uh, Makeup Revolution. Um, so L'Oreal is a little less matte than the Makeup Revolution. Um, I think it Makeup Revolution dies down a bit faster and it just has a more matte finish. Whereas the L'Oreal, it can have a slight sheen to it. Either way, both of them are still very, very matte on the face. Okay, so I'm gonna be showing you guys on the screen right here um, how I put on the L'Oreal foundation first. It's very liquidy, but then it dries down pretty quick into a matte finish. And it's not too matte, it feels light on the skin, and um, it has a nice fresh fragrance. I prefer not to have an, any fragrance, but the fragrance doesn't bother me. I feel that it was best applied with a um, foundation brush. By the way, the L'Oreal has a pump, so I like that about this foundation. Um, I think I prefer the pump over a doe foot applicator. So doe foot applicator is like this for Makeup Revolution. Makeup Revolution on the other hand, again, I tried them both. Half of my face was the brush and the other half was the Beauty Blender. So with the Makeup Revolution, it's not as runny or liquidy as the L'Oreal foundation. Um, I feel like it has m way more coverage than the L'Oreal foundation. It's a bit more matte. It applies really well with a beauty blender because it kind of thins out the product. It really melts into the skin a bit more. Rather than the brush, I noticed that when I used the brush side, that side of my face felt really 
kind of um, dry, like the foundation was just sitting on top of the skin. Um, so this foundation really works well with a beauty blender. So they're kind of like opposites. One, um, you know, works better with a brush, which is the L'Oreal one. And then the Makeup Revolution works better with a beauty blender, a damp beauty blender. So the first time I applied both foundations, um, I just had my moisturizer on no primer and both of them just failed really miserably at the two hour mark i was an oily mess a grease ball and it just didn't work out for me although i felt like the makeup revolution maybe lasted maybe a little bit longer you know it looked better a little bit longer than the uh, l'oreal so the second time around i tried them with my moisturizer my mattifying primer and I noticed that they lasted way longer on me. Um, L'Oreal lasted a good six hours before it started to break down on my skin. It looked really good during the first four hours. The Makeup Revolution also lasted a good six hours on my skin, but it didn't look as nice. The finish wasn't as nice. It didn't feel as comfortable on my face it felt really drying it felt really tight on my skin and that's even with the first aid beauty coconut water primer also the coverage wasn't as smooth it was kind of like almost ashy in a way like it's just sitting on the skin like did it really you know become one with the face in a way and so i didn't really like that i felt like my pores were really accentuated like i had huge big pores and it looked cakey after a couple of hours it accumulated around my nose line which i normally do get it anyway on most foundations but um this one was just a little bit more than usual so with the makeup revolution i feel like you can actually make this work if you really applied a good moisturizer or a very good hydrating primer this foundation would be good for people with really really oily skin i feel like this would last a little bit longer than the l'oreal one as far as with me getting oilier you know throughout the day so if you have a long event and you want something that's gonna last long at the four hour mark the foundation started to look much better because it had a chance to mix with the oils in my skin and it looked a little bit more natural as opposed to the first uh you know two to three hours it just looked ashy it looked cakey it looked um like my face had gigantic pores on them the l'oreal however it looks great the first time with the proper primers so I just want to mention that, you know, if you don't use the correct primers on either one of them, they just don't look good at all on my skin and they don't last at all. So the 24 hour claim is not really getting satisfied because at six hours I become oily, you know, by the time, um, you know, I reached the eight hour mark, which I did try to use at eight hours. It was already pretty much gone on my face or majority of it, especially the chin or t-zone area where i'm most oily and six hours of you know looking really good and looking like you have glowy and perfect skin um is not bad at all and even with high-end foundations the most high-end one i have is the lancome tint idol ultra wear foundation and this one doesn't really last on me um longer than six hours either so yes my skin is very high maintenance and it likes to eat makeup pretty much so with that said after trying on both foundations for two weeks the winner of this foundation challenge is the l'oreal so L'Oreal would be my top pick between these two foundations and let me tell you why. First of all, I like that it's a non-comedogenic foundation. It is a mattifying foundation, um, but it has medium to full coverage. So I like this because you can use it on days where you just want to have you know, a medium coverage. So maybe for every day, like going to work, maybe going to school if you're a student. Um, but you can also build it up. It has a lot more shades than the Makeup Revolution um, foundation. So you gotta appreciate that because at the drugstore, it's so hard to find 
the correct shade for your skin tone. It's good to have a lot of choices, especially for us medium skin tone gals or guys. And unlike the Makeup Revolution, it wasn't drying, it didn't emphasize my pores, it didn't look cakey. So overall, I like the coverage or the finish of the L'Oreal foundation more. So this is gonna be good for someone with oily skin tone or people with acne prone skin. Now, did it last 24 hours? No, it did not. Although I don't have any foundation that could last more than eight hours on my skin tone, but I was really happy with the first six hours. At six hour mark, I started to have oils, but it still looked really good. So I am wearing the foundation on my um, face right now. So I'll show you guys a close up. And this is, I've actually been wearing this foundation for about four hours now, and so far it's looking it looks good. really nice on the skin. I hope you guys can see that. So that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my foundation review today. If you like this video or learned something, please thumbs up this video. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can watch more future videos such as these. And I'll see you back in my corner soon. Bye.